Hey queens, as you can see, I am so ugly at the moment. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's boyfriend air, because I've just been on my period, I don't know what it is, but she needs to glow up. I want to look nice, so I'm going to try glow up overnight, and we're going to do it together. So, let's just get straight into it, because I cannot wait any longer. I feel like the first thing that we need to sort out is my skin. <laughs> She's just looking so dull. I feel like it's so lifeless and I don't even know how to explain it. It speaks for itself. I'm going to be using the Origins face mask. This is a blackhead clearing mask. I suffer with really bad blackheads on my forehead and it's so annoying because I never used to have them and all of a sudden they like appeared. So it's time to get rid of them. This face mask is so good. Like I genuinely think this has cleared them up so much. But searched left, right and center to get rid of my blackheads. I feel like it's just one of them things that you will just never be able to get rid of. And it's so annoying because I feel like with white heads, you can like pop them. I don't know. I just don't understand what blackheads are. And I just, don't know how to get rid of them. So any tips would be appreciated. <laughs> it's so annoying because I just don't know how to get rid of them. Okay, that is the face mask done. I literally love this face mask so much. I, I think I have like one or two face masks left in this and that makes me really sad because literally my favorite face mask ever. It's so good. I'm gonna do a lip mask while this is drying. I'm gonna use the Laneige. This is the, what is it? Eggnog Latte. And it's literally my favorite one ever. So nice, it's so autumnal. I'm also gonna put this on before I go to sleep. My lips are so dry right now. I needed to put something on my lips so I could speak to you guys. While I'm waiting for the face mask to dry, while I'm waiting for the face mask to dry, I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and just pluck my eyebrows. I only have like little hairs under the brow. I quite like the natural shape of my brow. So I'm just gonna go in and pluck these. I won't be able to film it because I need to like be so close to the mirror. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I feel like the face mask is now dry. So I'm gonna go wash this off. I don't know if it is dry. It kind of looks dry, but it feels dry as well. My face feels so tight. While I'm in the shower, I'm just gonna shave my legs, shave my armpits, shave everywhere. Just gonna have a everything shower. And I'm also gonna use the Way Body Scrub. This smells insane. Like there's no better feeling. If you wanna glow yourself up, there's no better feeling than scrubbing all your tan off, shaving everywhere. It's literally the best feeling in the world. So I'm gonna go do that. I've just got out the shower. I'm feeling so fresh. I've just moisturized everywhere as well. I always use this moisturizer. It literally smells insane. And I'm about to fake tan. So it's always good to moisturize before you fake tan because then it doesn't go patchy. I'm just quickly gonna trim my, the top of my eyebrows because they get really long. It just makes them look way more clean. Like they have a very natural shape to it when you trim them down. They just look how much cleaner they look now I've plucked them and trimmed them. I stopped tinting my eyebrows for so long and then I did it the other day and I remembered why I stopped doing it because they looked awful. But the dyes kind of come out now. I'm growing my natural hair colour out, so I'm hoping that they will look like my eyebrows soon. Now I'm going to go in with this fake tan. This is the best fake tan I've ever used. It's Baddest Bod. You know, if you're a big fan of me, you will know that this is my like ride or die tan. If anyone ever says to me, what's your favourite tan? Baddest Bod is my favourite tan. It honestly is the nicest natural looking tan ever like it goes on so smooth never patchy it smells good and most fake tans i hate the smell of love the smell of this it dries very quickly so it's not like sticky to touch this one's actually an express tanning mousse 
So if you leave it for 30 minutes, it's medium. If you leave it for an hour, dark, two hours, ultra dark. I sleep in it still because I just love it to look as dark as possible. So I'm just gonna layer this on and I will show you the results. Obviously you can see where I've like taken most of my tan off. It's very hard to take off. I can never get my tan off for some reason, but yeah. I'm gonna go with this. I'm literally so excited because it's my favorite tan in the world. And like going to sleep tanned, like the next morning, feels like Christmas morning. Like it's the nicest feeling when you've got a fresh layer of tan on. You feel like a new person. I've just done the first layer. I mean, I only do one layer anyway, but look at the difference already. And it's been on for like 30 seconds. Like it's insane. I'm trying not to put too much on my hands and my neck because it always looks really bad the next day because it's like so dark. So I just put the tiniest bit on my neck, but I need to take my pajamas off and do the rest of the tanning because I do not want to get it on these pajamas because they are very expensive. <laughs> They're like my favorite pajamas ever. So I'm just gonna go fake tan the rest of my body. I thought I'd just show you the difference because that is insane. So good. See, it literally dries so quickly. I've been able to put my pajamas on straight away. Look how insane this tan looks. I'm obsessed. I'm also gonna put some of the baddest bod tanning drops on my face just because obviously we don't want a pale face if we have tan body. <laughs> this stuff is so pigmented so you need to be careful of how much you put on because otherwise you will wake up looking like a tangerine and I don't like my face to be too too dark because sometimes I feel like it just looks like you've got fake tan all over you and I don't want my fake tan to look natural. I don't want it to be. I love how I say that looking like this <laughs> but I promise when you wash it off it looks so so good but yeah this is so nice this is like one of the only tans i can use on my skin without my skin breaking out as well which we love make sure to wash your hands after though because that will leave your fingers like this which you don't want the last thing i do to my face before we move on to my hair is curl my lashes i feel like curling your lashes before you go to sleep you literally wake up with a lash lift I don't know how it does this, it just does. I'm gonna hold it for like 10 seconds. I used to put Vaseline in my eyelashes to help them grow because I get so many questions on how I grew my lashes, but I haven't done it for so long. I feel like I need to start doing it again. But look how insane that looks. I would usually tint my eyelashes as well, but I did it the other day, so I don't wanna keep putting tint on them. But last of all, hair. You want to brush through your hair and guys, you're going to be so proud of me. I haven't put heat on my hair in over a month now and I have seen such a difference. I don't know if you guys can tell, but look how shiny and healthy my hair is looking. My hair's never looked like that and it's really just motivated me to want to have like really healthy hair. So what I've been doing is doing heatless curls every single night, honestly. It works wonders, like it has your, like I never know what to do with my hair. I've stopped sticking it back, I've stopped putting heat on it. So heatless curls is the way to go. And it's like a silk robe, so it like, that's good for your hair anyway. I'm gonna teach you guys how I get my perfect heatless bouncy blowout because I get so many questions. So you want to get the heatless colour like this. Then you want to get a claw clip to secure the heatless curl in place because I find if you don't have a claw clip it's flying all over the place. Not great. Then what you want to do, I don't wet my hair because if it's too wet I think it doesn't last because your hair like drops out through the day where it's still wet. What I do is I take each section and every time I get a section, I just put my hand under the tap. It's hard to show you without actually showing you. Put my hand under the tap, wet this section, put it through, put my hand under the tap, wet this section, put it through. And then I just do that the whole way. Obviously I haven't wet it yet, 
but this is just an example. Obviously it's dry. And then literally do it the whole way like that. And then keep wrapping it around until you've got no hair left. Once you've got no hair left, secure it with a scrunchie or whatever and then do it to the other side. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back. I've just done my heatless curls. As you can see, I'm gonna go to sleep now, get my beauty sleep and I will see you guys in the morning and we will finish the overnight glow up. Do you see, like, I can see the vision already. Like, I'm feeling 10 times prettier already and I haven't even woken up yet. <laughs> Not wake up looking naturally pretty. I just started to take my heatless curl out and then I remembered that was filming this video, I almost completely forgot. But yeah, those are the results. What is this? I don't know. Hopefully that hasn't ruined the heatless curls because I'm going to get Instagram pictures today. I do not have time for this. So that is the hair. It's like a proper bouncy blowout and this lasts all day, which I love. In this face spray. I don't even know what it is. I just got sent it. And then it just put some moisturiser on. A bit of a lip balm just to keep your lips looking glossy all day. I woke up this morning and the lip mask was still on my lips. Obviously it's off now because I washed my tan off in the shower. Yeah these are the results of the tan. As you can see it's a very natural looking tan i literally love how this looks it's insane honestly the best tan you can ever get like if you're gonna take one piece of advice from me go get this tan that's how i wake up looking naturally pretty i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you all so much and i'll see you in my next video